I only got exposed to Eng English about, you know, when I was four, 13, 14 years old. We were in isolation in South Africa at that time, so we didn't have English TV. If we had uh, Knight Rider or Airwolf on TV, it would have been dubbed in Afrikaans. And <laughs> so. I was born in the Free State, right slap bang in the middle of South Africa, Central South Africa, um, 80s baby. culture in the region where I live is driven by sport and I went to a very proud, proud uh, rugby school great college um, so the rugby was always instilled in myself and also in our family. Attending that school you always have this asset you know I, I want to play for the national team or Curry Cup. I was a keen rugby player but not a great rugby player and along the way got a few injuries. So that cut my rugby playing career short and I had to fi find other ways to actually get, uh, stay involved with the game. I started coaching a little bit um, whilst I was at university. Somehow I found a way to start refereeing some of the games on Thursday afternoons when the union couldn't provide all the referees. Yeah, one thing led to another. I started earning a few you know, pocket money for a few beers over the weekend, so that's how I got into refereeing. You know, it wasn't ever planned, it, was just, it just happened. Can South Africa spread it quickly enough? James Small, Peter Hendricks, Peter Hendricks, Peter Hendricks! That's a try! 95 was, was surreal, you know, being in isolation for so long. I clearly remember the opening game uh, we watched at a mate's place. You know, we didn't expect to win. As, as a youngster, we didn't expect to beat the, the, the Wallabies that day. I remember the next day at school, how that changed the country already. By then, just, just the hope that rugby brings and sport brings in South Africa. So after that opening game, suddenly the vibe changed in South Africa. You would have seen different cultures and different ethnic groups hanging on each, around each other, having a, a drink in the street together, you know. That's the moment when black and white started working together in that country. That, that, that feels like that to me. We'd really actually, we've spoken about it, there's been things put in place, but that was the day when, when people actually started doing it. My first World Cup game I attended was Japan versus New Zealand in South Africa, um, 95, um, and I had a massive big Japanese flag. I remember taking one of my mum's sheets, and she didn't know, and we painted a red dot in the middle. And me and my mates up in the stadium, and we had this massive flag. But Japan got thumped that day. I, I don't remember the score, but it was a big score. And this could be it. It is. An all-time New Zealand test try. And if you just see the progress they've made from that day to now where they are beating South Africa in the previous World Cup, I think it's a, it's a rugby culture that's grown massively and they will present an exceptional World Cup to us. Back in those days, our refereeing was not, not on the radar. So for all the other reasons, I remember South Africa playing Canada and there was a massive fight and red cards all over the show. I remember the disappointment of the players who got uh, suspended and had to leave the World Cup and didn't get to play in the final, but they were the best in their positions. I remember John Aloma that came at Newlands where he just ran over and around people at free will. What a phenomenon how he changed the game. Pass out to Lomu. Underwood can take. This is the big man, Lomu. I remember the, the game that almost got called off with the torrential rain and somehow they played it. That was all part of this idyllic, you know, story. And France hold the onslaught just for a moment. Quivers Visa, bodies piling over. How can the referee see? The referee has given the try. 
And that's it. The whistle is gone. And South Africa have beaten France in this World Cup semi-final. All the ritual and the ceremony almost over. Fifteen years old, so not allowed to have a few beers like my brothers. Beautifully taken by the New Zealander. And Lolo straight through the middle, breaks one tackle. South Africa have it still. Back it comes to Stransky. The drop goal. It's there. Flick wide to Wilson. Chester Williams outside to Osborne. Chester Williams showing that he can tackle. Mertens with the drop goal. And it flies wide. The vital one from in front. Oh, they can't believe it. I remember that, that extra time. How just intense I was. The tension really is absolutely amazing. Back it comes to Stransky. Up goes the kick. Back it comes to you, Sven de Besthuizen. A little knock forward, but that's it. South Africa have won the World Cup. I can still clearly see Franz Pino and Nelson Mandela on the, you know, on the podium there with, with the cup. And again, what that did for the country, um, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, that changed South Africa forever. Rugby is such an important part of South Africa's, you know, the hope it brings in South Africa. And it binds different cultures and shapes and sizes together which is Africa. The way Nelson Mandela embraced the whole thing, and you know, he was part of the Springbok team, and if he, if he turned his back on the Springbok team, it would never have happened. A few years that he's, been, he's passed away, but every time if anyone speaks of him, I see him in the number six green jersey. That's how significant that moment was for a young kid of 15 years old, remembering that. Rugby World Cup 2015 is under starter's orders. The challenge uh, with being part of high profile games is that you're going to be in the middle of the picture every time a decision is made. You don't want me to turn that penalty around. And there's the discipline it's from fine. the referee, rightly so. Every time there's a big decision, your face is in the picture. You can't escape that. His second row, but the ball goes the other side to allow Matavalu to go. Matavalu scored here a trick of the before. Is he going to do it again? Great covering tackle from Johnny Ray. But has it gone in? Yes, it has. What a solo effort. And here we go because Jakob Piper has just seen the replay of that. From the first time I refereed uh, at, at the highest level till, you know, today is about eight years. Um, in Test Rugby and it's changed significantly, you know, from being just Mr. Ref to being first name, you know, know where you live, um, you know exactly what you do, they find ways to, <laughs> to contact you and, and sometimes it's great. Going to have a chat here and I think there's a yellow card coming from no. Jakob Paper. It's a very good mall, it's gaining momentum, this player is tackling the legs, it's cynical. Well, look at here, goes yep. to the naughty boy step. Obviously, all referees love the game. That's why we're here, and I hope so. Um, that's definitely why I'm here. Yeah, being selected for the World Cup is obviously I mean, work, pinnacle. You work a full cycle of four years to be, to be selected for that, just like the players, just, just like coaches being appointed. No clear evidence. Being selected for that is, is an absolute you know, joy, and you, you go wild and you phone all the people that helped you there. But then it doesn't take too long to realize, oh, damn. <laughs> We're looking at potential foul play. A screenshot of yep. that. So we can see where he connects. Well, he's being held, Sorry. but he's lashed out in this boot. He just can't do that, no matter what the provocation is. Listen, yeah. that's a clear intentional <laughs> foot back. Okay. He's lucky that it's on the arm, okay. so it's a definite yellow card. Yeah. No more of that from you guys. Can we just stop him? Okay. It's on the arm. He's, he's in the middle of the foot. Rugby is a way of life. I think. There's so many things that you can learn from rugby and the rugby team and just being involved with the game that you can take back to your family life, that you can take back to your business to be successful in that life. Rugby is all about discipline, it's all about integrity, it's all about you know being a good teammate. Um, the character of rugby is 
alive and true and successful businesses and successful families. For me, rugby is a way of life.